Good morning. We will begin the... In the name of the Father, and of the Son, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. O Lord, open my lips. O God, come to my assistance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The first joyful mystery, then be humble and have the humility to receive our Lord and His will in our life. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father and to the Son. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, lead all souls into heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Mother, help us have serving hearts to go and reach the people that need the Lord, our neighbors. Our Give us, you say, our daily bread, and pass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Holy 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The third joyful mystery, the nativity of our Lord. Mother, pray for us that we might be the place where our Lord is born every day and all his graces. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail, Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to 
O my Jesus, forgive us our sins and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. Mother, help us be obedient and accept the will of our superiors and of our Lord. Give us, he say, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery, finding Jesus in the temple. Sweet Mother, please open our eyes to see how you, to how our Lord dwells in all of us. So this might increase our charity with him when we're alone and also our charity with our brothers and sisters in our communities. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Hail 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry, poor vanished children of Eve. To thee we send up our sights, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after these, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we might imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. To Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. among the poor and humble to be the mother of the Savior. <clears throat> Grant, we pray that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul. It was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world. 
but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift, and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written. I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said. Thus shall your descendants be. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his You descendants of Abraham, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. forever his covenant which he made binding for a thousand generations which he entered into and by his oath to Isaac the Lord remembers his covenant forever Remembered his holy word to his servant Abraham, and he led forth his people with joy, with shouts of joy, his chosen ones. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. According to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever 
denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what you, your defense will be or about what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say. The God Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So before the homily, let us continue to invoke St. Jude, the Apostle, the patron of this novena. St. Jude, glorious apostle, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of difficult and desperate cases. Pray for me who am in need of God's mercy. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where help was almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolation and help of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly that with you and all the elect throughout all eternity, I promise you, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, I will honor you as my special and powerful patron and encourage devotion to you. St. Jude, pray for us and for all who honor and invoke thy aid. Amen. In today's gospel, Jesus warns of the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit as it cannot be forgiven, unpardonable. But what exactly is it? There has been many, many um, theolog theologians who discuss on this and try to explain to us what exactly uh, is the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. And St. Thomas Aquinas provides us with a detailed explanation. He said, first of all, it is an again, offense against the essence of the divinity, the essence of God, the Holy Spirit. The, the offense uttered against early lifetime were about what he did in his humanity. Uh, primarily, for example, he was called a drunkard, he uh, was accused of eating and uh, talking to sinners, all these things that human beings do, but they did not attack Jesus' divinity. However, the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is a direct offense, again, direct assault even, against the divin divinity. The Holy Spirit, God is holy, God is spirit, and the Holy Spirit is the proper name of the third person of the Trinity. So it is a direct assault against the divinity. But also, it is an offense out of malice, a true evil in the soul, not out of ignorance or weakness. So the Pharisees and the scribes and the Sadducees, they attacked Jesus out of their ignorance. They did not know who he really is, and they attacked Jesus. They attacked Jesus out of their own jealousy, so that was their own weakness, out of their own insecurities. But the offense against the Holy Spirit is out of a true and persistent malice. And so concretely, what constitute the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit? Uh, chiefly, six kinds of sins. Despair, presumption. These sins against, uh, offend against God's judgment 
which combines mercy and justice. Also, impenitence and obstinacy. These cause a person to persist in sin, and these prevent a person from turning back to God. Also, in impugning acknowledged truth or denying the the absolute truth, I would just say, or envy of other people's grace, these are offenses offenses against God's gifts, which help us to turn away from sin and turn back to God. These sins, moreover, are unforgivable or unpardonable, because, not because God cannot forgive them. No, with God, nothing is impossible. However, Jesus said that because these sins precisely prevent us from turning back to God. They, by their own nature, excludes us to seek forgiveness, and that's why they cannot be forgiven. Not because God can't do that. God certainly can't. There is no problem on God's part. But these sins really prevent us from turning back to God. And I think it's noteworthy that since this, during this novena, we are talking about our hope in Jesus Christ. So it's interesting that Saint Thomas Aquinas lists despair on the top of the list of all the sins that constitute the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. This. Despair that is the opposition to hope, and he he listed as I said on the top of the list of all six sins. But on this Saturday, we know the model of hope, whom we can look up to. That is Our Lady, whom we are honoring today, especially as on many many Saturdays. We do well to remember that, like Abraham, who. Hoped against hope, as we heard in today's first reading, Mary also hoped against hope. Like Abraham, who was also known as the father of our faith, we can also say that Mary, in a similar way, is the mother of our faith. And like Abraham, and as I mentioned yesterday, as as we just prayed at the collect, Mary's undefeated hope was firmly rooted. In her profound faith in God and His promises, Saint John Paul II, whose feast is actually t- tomorrow, but we cannot celebrate him liturgically because tomorrow is a Sunday. But I think it's great that we commemorate him、uh, and remember his legacy. Since Saint John Paul II, in his 1987 encyclical Redemptoris Mater, or the Mother of the Redeemer. Has this to say about Mary? Saint John Paul II says that in the salvific economy of God's revelation, Abraham's faith constitutes the beginning of the old covenant. Mary's faith at the Annunciation inaugurates the new covenant. Just as Abraham in hope believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations. That we just heard in today's first reading, so Mary at the Annunciation believed that through the power of the Most High, by the power of the Holy Spirit, she will become the mother of God's Son, in accordance with the angel's revelation. The child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. I think it's good to, that Pope John Paul II mentioned about believing and trusting in the Holy Spirit, and this is exactly our Lord. Is trying to tell us in today's gospel as well. So Pope John Paul II goes on to say, Mary was and is the one who is blessed, blessed, because she believed. She was the first one to believe. However, Elizabeth's words, "Blessed is the one who believed," does not only apply to that particular moment of Annunciation. Certainly, the Annunciation is the culmination moment, culminating moment, of Mary's faith in her awaiting of Christ. But it is also the point of departure from which her whole journey towards God begins, her whole pilgrimage of faith. And on this road, in an eminent and truly heroic manner, 
indeed, with an ever greater heroism, heroism of faith, the obedience which she professes to the word of divine revelation will be fulfilled. Mary's obedience of faith during the whole of her pilgrimage will show surprising similarities to the faith of Abraham. Just as the patriarch of the people of God, so too Mary, during the pilgrimage of her filial and maternal fiat, in hope, believed against hope. To believe means to abandon oneself to the truth of the word of the living God. Mary conforms herself to them in the dim light of faith, accepting fully and with a ready heart everything that is decreed in the divine plan. So what Pope John Paul II was saying is that, yes, Mary's yes to God was definitely a culminating moment of her faith. But in the meantime, it's only the beginning, the beginning of her journey uh, in faith. Especially, I think the, biggest, the greatest trial of her faith came when Jesus was crucified on the cross. So Pope John Paul II comments, in particular, the events on Calvary had shrouded the promise in darkness. Yet, not even beneath the cross did Mary's faith fail. She had still remained the one who, like Abraham, in hope, believed against hope. Therefore, Mary shines forth on earth as a sign of sure hope and solace for the pilgrim people of God. And that's why when, when we, at the end of, of the rosary, when we pray the Salve Regina, we call her our mother and our life and our hope. So may Mary, our mother in heaven, and the cause of our hope, the model of our hope, continue to accompany each one of us, her children, in our journey of life and to inspire us to place our faith and hope in her Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, until we safely reach heaven, the place that he prepared for us. So today I would just like to conclude with a beautiful Marian hymn and entrust all of us to her most tender maternal intercessions. Hail, Queen of Heaven, the ocean star, guide of the wanderer here below. Through life's surge, we claim thy care. Save us from peril and from woe. Mother of Christ, star of the sea, pray for the wanderers, pray for me. in union with Mary, as well as, well as St. Jude, our patron. Let us lift up our prayers in faith and in hope to our gracious Lord, knowing that he listens to the prayers of his children. For the church, may all Catholics be deepened in their faith and strengthened in their hope through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. For civil leaders, that they may have the courage and wisdom to deal with difficult issues facing our society, rather than falling into despair and inaction. Let us pray to the Lord. For abundant rain this winter to relieve the drought, let us pray to the Lord. For the victims of the severe earthquake in Afghanistan, who are trying to rebuild their homeland, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the Holy Land and in Ukraine, may Mary, Queen of Peace, soften the hearts of those who perpetrate violence and war. Let us pray to the Lord. For all the faithful de de uh, deceased, may they rest in the peace 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all the intentions of the, all the devotees of St. Jude, for their needs and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. And for the intention of this Mass, which is for the benefactors um, and those who um, find their resting place in our columbarium, for their repose in the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Mighty God, we give you thanks and praise for, for giving us the gifts of hope, faith, and charity. May through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. Jude, they lead us safely into our heavenly homeland. We, praise, we, we lift up all these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our dear. Celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity. May through this the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, be confirmed in love of you and, and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, 
our beauty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. <clears throat> Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Habaot, Plenis Uncelli, in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine domini, osana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created by the power and working of the Holy Spirit. You give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Miser. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you can. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, 
may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her chaste spouse, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compla and compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you as you're passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by the divine who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, and now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. In salutari tuo, et in verbum tuum speravi. Cu 
quando facies de judicium. Iniqui persecuti sunt me, adiuva me domine. Taste and see, taste and see that the Lord is good, the Lord is good. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. The Lord shall be the glory of my soul, the humble shall hear and be glad. Taste and see, taste good, the Lord is good. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord, he answered me. He set me free from all my fear. Taste and see that the Lord the Lord is good. Look upon the Lord and be radiant. Hide not your face from the Lord. He heard the cry of the poor. He rescued them from all their woes. And see that the Lord is good, the Lord is good. The angel of the Lord is with his people to rescue those who trust in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Seek refuge in him and be glad. Taste and see, taste and see that the Lord is good, the Lord is good. Saints of the Lord, revere him, those who fear him lack nothing. Lions suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek him lack no blessing. Taste and see, taste good, the Lord is good. For those joining at a distance, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
that away. Grant to your children by the power of the sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathway of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A few quick announcements. Uh, I just want to be praying for all your intentions. Um, however, it's still not too late to submit even more intentions. Uh, so you can find uh, blank intention slips at the shrine altar. Uh, alternatively, if you would like to go paperless, you can also scan the QR code over there and submit your intentions online. And also, I want to remind you that um, all the masses uh, in the morning uh, during the novena will be live streamed. And so if you, for whatever reason, miss any one or a few of the novena masses, you can still make it up by participating online. And furthermore, as usual, we will have the Relic of St. Jude at the conclusion of the Mass. But also, I want to thank you on behalf of St. Jude Shrine for your generous support, both in prayer and in uh, donation, in financial donation. As you know, the, um, the proceed goes to support the formation of Dominican brothers, both novices and students. And um, I, as a recently ordained priest, I can tell you that I am here to be able to offer the Mass for you and with you, all thanks to your generosity. Without your generosity, I wouldn't be standing here today. And so thank you once again, and please, um, we beg you to continue to consider prayerfully um, how to, you may want to uh, support us uh, with your generosity. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.